I wanna thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. I've got several important announcements to share with you, and the only way I can think of sharing them, not only with you, but all of the children's ministry volunteers, is to make this short video. You are one of the 85 volunteers who committed last year to help run the elementary department of the children's ministry in 2019 and 2020. Obviously, 2020 hasn't turned out even remotely like we had envisioned or planned it being. In fact, over the past five months, I've had to produce over 50 videos for the kids. Our weekly church at home video, which is kind of like kids' church and Sunday school combined, has been viewed thousands of times. While it's not ideal, I do believe that it is the most effective way to minister to kids during this time. And for now, I do plan on continuing to produce that weekly video for the kids and their families who won't be able to attend church. I want to update you on our plans for the children's ministry going forward. Next Sunday, we are going to do our very first ever combined children's and student ministry worship service. It's gonna be held at both the 9 a.m. and the 11 a.m. adult worship service. And the 11 o'clock service, like always, is going to be streamed. There are going to be kids on the stage leading the singing with Denise. Kids are going to be doing the prayer time and the welcome and the communion and the offering time. And then showers, Daniel, Martin, and I, we're going to be taking over during the sermon time. We are encouraging families to attend one of these services together. And then... The week after that, on September 13th, I am thrilled to tell you that we are going to be offering classes again for the kids. Initially, we will only be offering classes during the 11 o'clock service. This hour will be a hybrid service of kids' church and Sunday school, and Denise will be leading the worship time right in here for our first through fifth graders. I'll be teaching the lesson, and then we're gonna break out into small groups, probably based on grade. Now, our plan is to take baby steps, and then each week, we're going to have a staff meeting where we kind of evaluate things to decide, is it time for us to offer more? When we believe the time is right, we will begin programming at the 9 o'clock service, but it will be the exact same thing that we offer at 11 o'clock. Once we add that second service time, both services are going to be identical, we don't foresee being able to return to our normal programming until at least the first of the year. But that could change. It's impossible for us to predict what's going to happen going forward. And because of that, we are avoiding the term phases. Instead, we're saying steps. We will be taking steps towards whatever is next. So what does that mean for you? Well, one thing that hasn't changed is my need for you in order to pull this off. I've got to have your help. For now, I want to do away with the term kids church workers and Sunday school teachers and recess volunteer, volunteers. Instead, you're all children's ministry volunteers. We're all gonna have to pitch in to make this work. Used to, you may have been a Sunday school teacher, but now I may need you to just be a warm body in the room and kind of roll with the punches. Or maybe you used to play games on Wednesday nights in recess, but now I need you to be a small group leader on Sunday mornings. I'm asking for all of my volunteers to do what you've always done. Just help make things happen. I'm still developing our plan for this hybrid program. As I figure it out, I'll keep you informed. This week, I'll be texting with all of you to find out if you're gonna be comfortable with meeting in person, if you're willing to come help with the kids, if you, or maybe you still wanna stay home and, until this COVID thing is under control. Whatever your decision may be, I'm good with it. I've got a lot of people to communicate with, and so I'm gonna utilize this new resource that we've been developing over the summer, and it's part of our new check-in system. We will no longer be using tags or check-in cards. I'm super excited about this new system. It looks like this. And we've got a ton of these kiosk systems that are gonna be around the building, and parents will go to those and check in all of their kids at one time. 
Plus, what's really cool is there's this app that they can put on their smartphone that will allow them to check in their kids from anywhere, including in their car on their way to church. Next week, after Labor Day, I'm going to send you a video that will teach you how to use this new system. In addition, we have, we're going to be putting in a ton of new guidelines. And some of those guidelines include, we're going to ask families to park in the South parking lot. We're going to ask all the kids to come in through the gym. We're going to do temperature checks and we're going to do a health screening of the kids before we allow them to go to class. I'm going to ask all of you volunteers to wear a mask. Elementary kids are going to be encouraged to wear a mask while they're in class. We will not be offering snacks. We're going to do our best to do social distancing, as you can see. And there's a ton of other things we're going to do to help minimize as many risks as possible. I'm going to warn you, we will have to pivot from week to week. There will be changes that we're going to have to all cope with as we move forward. So please, 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 please be like you've always been. Just continue to be encouraging and supportive and cooperative and just go with the flow. You have always been good about doing that. I'm sure you've got tons of questions, and so I want you to shoot those to me. I probably won't reply right away. In fact, I probably will bank all those questions and put all the questions together in an email and answer all of them at one time so we're all on the same page. For now, be thinking about your next step. And I'm going to ask you, please consider, help me to maneuver through this adventure, okay? Last thing, I'm going to send you a link next week, like in just a few more days, to this form that I need you to fill out that will help get you registered on our new check-in system. Plus, if you have kids, you're going to have to do this anyhow so that you can check your kids in on Sunday mornings. I'm going to utilize this new system to communicate with all of you and to help plan out who will be working with the kids from week to week. You guys cool with doing that for me? All right. I'm, oh man, I know I'm forgetting something else, but that's my update for right now. And I hope that you guys will come to our family service next week. All right. I love you guys. Bye-bye.